Alan Fire here of Group Dynamic talking again about trust, um, basing some thoughts around this brilliant but short article from the Des Moines Business Record uh, about erosion of trust and needing to make that a priority uh, by Susanna DeBaca. Um, one of the things that contributes to trust erosion and has already contributed is lack of delivery. And some of that has to do with delivery of products to customers because of supply chain issues. And sometimes we promise things because uh, we are optimistic or we want to instill hope. What we're finding is that efforts to instill hope by promising things we weren't sure we could deliver, whether it's products to customers, whether it's inputs to colleagues, whether it's raw supplies to the people who work in operations, whatever it is, we have not done a good job of managing expectations and have sometimes promised things that we can't quite deliver. One way to work backwards on that and make better on that is first stop. If you can't, if you can't back up your promises of delivery, don't make them or set a very realistic deadline. Acknowledge where other people are at. Hey, I, I know that in the past we've been able to get this to you within a week and a half. Right now, we just can't. We're hoping for a month. I don't want to lead you astray. Be real with people and, so, so, and stop promising things that can't be delivered. Number two, if this is something that you or the people you represent have done in the past, issue a personal apology. Own it, even if it's not your fault, and say, in the past, there have been three times that I've said that my team could get you the data you needed for your presentation, and we, we have failed all three of those times. I know it. I acknowledge it. I apologize. It shouldn't have happened. Going forward, I want to do better at promising things that we can actually honor. And I, I hope you forgive us for that. Um, so, so actually apology, uh, apologize and, and own that. The other thing to do is to make it safe for people to extend their deadlines if you keep pushing them to meet some unrealistic deadlines. They might think that because the culture is, hey, we uh, we overpromise and underdeliver, they might think that they can also, and then they can become a bit of a part of the problem. Remember the initial statistic from this article that we looked at. About half, a little over half of leaders don't trust the people that they report to to follow through. Half of the people who are leading in organizations just don't trust. What are some steps we can take? Here's another one. Make sure that we follow through on delivery and make it safe for people to set appropriate and realistic delivery expectations so we don't let each other down. And we have a greater proportion of people saying, yeah, I trust my leader. You can do this. You can do this with your people. I've got faith in you. Let's keep talking.